Come here, Warren. You think that Mommy will let us cook marshmallows? No, I don't see why not. When you were a little boy in Scotland, did you see that? Roast marshmallow. Well, some people say we didn't. Now, we were very poor. Actually, sometimes we didn't even have potatoes to roast. No, it wasn't that. We had fun. We did other things. We used to play in the snow till it got dark at night. Really? What did you play? Well, we used to make snowmen. And then we had a snowball fight the way you do. Not because then we, well, we grew up and we became more careful. But then we started to play ice hockey. Did you ever ski? No, I never did ski. Did you ever ski? Yes. Yes, you very well. Do you ski? Yes. All right. Well, we learn something new every day. Mm -hmm. Do you like to ski? Oh, yeah. Love it. I love it. You do? Yeah. You know what? I think that's what we're going to do this weekend. We're going to go ski it. It's a tough day to get up there. If we leave on Saturday, we won't have any time. We want to leave on Saturday. I think we'll leave. Let's leave tomorrow afternoon. Does that mean that? Does that mean that I can miss school on Friday? Well, I don't see why Please, not. Just hang on a minute. Oh, come on. I'll call the school. I'll make an excuse. I will be perfectly charming. Yes, yes. Very, very careful. Well, just wait a minute, you two. No, I haven't. Robin, you detect a note of reluctance in your mother's yes, voice. Yes, she does, yes. I think you have to be a bit charming on her, too. You're right. We're going to have to work on this. Come on, my darling. It's not going to work. If I go, I got to take a smoothie. <laughs> come, come over, sit by the fire. I don't like him at school. Now, just imagine. Here we are. In a little chalet in the mountains. In front of a wonderful fire. It's very cold outside. Mm -hmm. Oh, listen, do you... Sleigh bells ringing. Oh, they're coming from somebody else's sleigh. But you think we could do that too? Oh yeah, I think we could probably arrange this lever up. Uh, yeah. Carry on, hold on. There'll be music. Oh, wouldn't that be nice? Can you imagine? Yeah, I have to be out. Too. What? We could roast marshmallows. Oh, we could practice right now too after dinner. <laughs> I think that's an excellent. Yes, you're getting the hang of this. That's an excellent idea. Let's, <laughs> let's roast the marshmallows. Yeah, that sounds very pleasant. I must admit. Oh, this sounds only pleasant. Oh, that's <laughs> lovely. I don't know whether I'll be able to get Friday off then. I'll have to speak to Robert. Don't you recover like that? Yeah, maybe. But there's another thing there. Oh, no, no Mommy, please. You'll be a ballet class on Friday night. What about that? Well, Brian, if you pay for the class, Teddy won't pay it. Yeah. I think it's a bit of a waste of money. Yeah, but why? Well, we're not wasting any money because we don't have to pay for the chalet. At this time of year? Yeah, it just so happens that uh, one of the wholesalers I do business with, he has a chalet in the mountains and he offered it for any weekend this month, any weekend we like. Why not this weekend? Hmm. Hmm? Yeah. Yeah, just sitting in a funny position. You move over there, will you? <laughs> Is it all settled in, Mommy? Yeah, it's all right. This is good. Are you a man to play? Thank you. Always nice to see you too. And tell me, uh, how can I help you? Well, now, what's that expression? Something about um, um, uh, ripping? You don't by chance mean ripped off. That's it. That's it. I'm being ripped off. And I thought you might be just the one to handle it especially well. Mm -hmm. Want to serve? Oh no, no, no. A motel. Staying in a motel. <laughs> I own one. You own one, okay. As I bought it a little over a year ago when I heard that the new throughway was going to cut right across the land that the motel is on. Mm -hmm. Now, I could have made a small fortune in real estate, but the plans of the new throughway have been stalled. Mm -hmm. And heaven only knows when it'll get the green light. In the meantime, I'm stuck with this thing. Thing? Yeah, the motel. I haven't seen it, but I heard it's really quite comfortable. One wing features what they call hot beds, uh, whatever that means. You don't want to know. Well, I, I've been told that quite a few wealthy out-of-towners frequently go there. Well, sounds profitable. Well, no, 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 it isn't. No, there have been a series of robberies, and I'm having a dreadful time with the insurance company and all those nasty little lawsuits. 
Uh, you've gone to the police, I tell you. Well, yes, they've investigated, but they've come up with nothing. And there's a reason behind it. I'm convinced that the staff of the motel is responsible. That's why I say that I've, I'm being ripped off. I see. Well, an inside job wouldn't matter to me. I could kind of talk to the police. Mm, and I hate to be taken. So, you'd like me to investigate and see who's behind it all? Yes, could you? Of course. Good. Uh, and as soon as possible. Excuse me, I'm going to have to take this. So I've got nobody working the reception at the moment. Yes, of course. Scorpio here. Uh, Mr. Scorpio, this is Mr. Marsh. Ah, uh, yes, the kennel's my daughter's favorite spot in town. It surely is. Uh, that's why I'm calling. I'm genuinely fond of her, you know. Well, thanks, mate. Say, uh, listen, do you recall bringing her by the other day and uh, letting her look at all the puppies? Indeed, I do. She wanted all six of them. <laughs> well, for my sake, I'm delighted. I've sold five. There's, there's only one left. Uh, actually, it's the one your daughter liked the best. And uh, there's someone coming over uh, later this evening to take another look at the last puppy. Uh, the trouble is, I uh, I haven't quite made up my mind yet. Uh, I, I understand that, but I, I thought you'd like to know. Uh, your daughter was quite taken by that little puppy. I know. Now, look. Um, perhaps when I finished here, I can uh, drop by and take another look at the puppy. Well, those people are coming by after dinner. I'll be there before that. And look, I, um, I appreciate your calling. Thank you. Goodbye. Um, I'm sorry for the interruption. Look, I will start work on your case immediately. Good. The name of the motel is the Pine Tree Rest. I know that's why I've driven past. All right. Thank you. Um, you're buying a puppy for your little girl. Well, I'm thinking about it. Oh, they're adorable. But they're very hard on fine rugs. <laughs> I'll keep that in mind. <laughs> well, be careful. Bye. Bye. And the top of one mountain all the way to the top of another. Well, you don't quite see from the top of one mountain to the top of another. Sorry. Watch me. <laughs> all right, now, didn't come to be a little late? The cinnamon doesn't feel very well, so uh, I have to cook. Oh. Uh, okay. And today, please, again, the rest of the weekend. Because it's still be waving us off on Friday night. Tomorrow night. Tomorrow night, definitely. Okay, then. You can help me try the cinnamon. Everything is just about ready for our house guests. 